Deep within Guyana's rainforest, between mountains and seas, lives an ancient freshwater fish, a giant fish, one of the largest in the world, a living fossil. The Arapaima lives in one of the most diverse ecosystems on Earth, a giant among giants. Jaguars, pythons, black caimans. This is home to the golden frog, over 1,600 species of birds, 15% of the world's fresh water. After generations of living together with the environment, the villagers began poaching and over-harvesting to survive. Extractive industries moved in and men began leaving their villages and families to seek work in the mines. With the men gone, the crops began to die, leaving what little money they made to buy food. Eventually, the birds stopped singing. The fish stopped jumping. But in a village named Rewa, the story changed. The elders had an idea to put an end to poaching and to celebrate their local ecosystems again in hopes that others would too. The village came together to build an eco-lodge, and slowly their steps to restore the natural resources took hold. Birds began to sing again. Fish began to jump. But the tourists didn't follow. Stories started to reach us at Costa about a Garden of Eden deep in Guyana's rainforest, and about the people who made a leap of faith to protect their fish and wildlife. When we arrived, we found a giant fish lurking in the pristine environment, a monster fish. We saw every fisherman's dream to catch the uncatchable and an opportunity to help change the fate of Rewa. The first problem was that it was illegal to even try. Two years, 27 organizations, and 300 meetings later, we received permission from the Guyanese government to catch and release the Arapaima with a fly, if it could even be done. And so Project Guyana began. By single prop plane, bus, boat, and boots, We traveled deep into the Guyanese jungle. Two worlds came together on that trip. Over several days, countless broken lines and the most delicious warm beer we've ever tasted. The villagers taught us about the Arapaima, where they live, what they eat. We taught them how to tie a fly and how to cast. Together, we proved that they could be caught. The film we made about the journey made its world premiere in the village. And not long after, Jungle Fish launched a critical acclaim, garnering the attention of global organizations and sweeping the sports fishing community, inspiring dozens of anglers to travel to Rewa with a dream to catch the uncatchable. Today, the Rewa Eco Lodge is booked one year in advance, employing the majority of the village and funding conservation efforts to protect the ecosystem for future generations. The village decided to save a fish, And that fish is saving the village.